Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today is Vlogmas Day 6? 5, 6? Yesterday I did a talk about my Dissociative Identity Disorder, which I will link that video down below in the doobly-doo. Um, it is part two of um, my question and answer on that. And you guys did see a switch on camera. Um, I don't know if any of you noticed it or understood that that was what happened, but you did see a switch on camera and I'm gonna leave it in when I edit. Um, which you guys already know at this point, but I'm just letting you know that I did leave it in. Um, it's it's pretty visible, it's kind of scary, um, and if you're wondering what happened in that moment, that's what happened. So, um, I'm actually filming that this video about four hours after having filmed the video prior. So the Q&A about DID. So I have lost about three hours of my day today um, because of that filming. So just to give you guys an idea about sorts of things that trigger me. So occasionally talking about it and answering questions will trigger me. And in this case, it did. So you guys did see a visible switch and that's what happened in that video. Anyway, um, so today what I want to talk to you guys is about why I choose Libro FM versus Audible. So I am not being paid for this. I am not an affiliate. There is no money getting to me. I am just talking about my opinions of why I choose Libro FM over Audible. So Audible is owned by Amazon. I really have tried my hardest and my darndest not to shop at places like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, um, and Book Depository. Those three companies I have started to try and avoid. Um, Barnes and Noble I do have a account with, so I have the uh, frequent buyer um, membership thing, which makes it so that I get 40% off of hardcovers when they first come out. And I have um, I do have an Amazon Prime account from way back when. I got it at the beginning of, no, the end of last year, and I was using um, Amazon quite a bit at the time, and I really, I fell out of love with having those relationships. I fell out of love with having relationships with these large companies that were taking my money and I felt like they were going to the wrong places, they were supporting the wrong things, and they were really, really enforcing um, this commercialized system that I really don't like. Um, I have a really strong connection to my local bookstore, Print, which I will link their website down below because they actually do order and take orders and um, ship to you if you want to. Um, and I believe that they have a couple of, like I think that they have some My Absolute Darling books that are signed copies and and so on and so forth. I think there are some some good books and I've, I haven't had any issue with finding what I'm looking for on their website at this point. Um, and I also, have a tendency to order what I want online, pay for it there, and then pick it up in store. And it's free for me to pick it up in store. Shipping is $5.99, I think. But um, that being said, the thing I wanted to do more than anything was support my local bookstore. And Libro FM makes me or helps me to do that. So I don't know how it works for every local bookstore in America. I would love to say that it helps every local bookstore in America, but I don't know. Um, I think you can go online and check to see which local bookstore you want to or ask your local bookstore if they are an affiliate with Libro FM. Um, and then you can officially buy your audiobooks through Libro FM and a portion of those funds goes towards your local bookstore. I prefer to do that completely. I prefer to work with my local bookstore as much as possible and to be as as involved with them as possible. Um, when I order books that are from the UK, at this point I order them from Waterstones versus Book Depository. Um, and I, it does cost a lot more, but 
I think that's the closest thing to a local bookstore I can order from with the UK. If anyone has other local bookstores that I can order from with the UK, let me know down below in the doobly-doo because, or in the comments I should say, um, because I would love to have that information. So Libro FM is $14.99, just like Audible, and it has almost all the same audiobooks. The only thing that I would have to say I critique is that you can't use your monthly credit towards every single book in their repertoire. Um, I will have to purchase, without using a credit, Harry Potter, and I did have to purchase Shirley Jackson's biography without using a credit. Um, I have, however, picked up The Revolutionary, The Revolutionary of Marina M. and um, What Happened with Credits, and those two books I have and have had no trouble with. Um, there is occasionally a glitch with the download of the vi of the um, audios. Um, but if you just email them, they immediately fix it and it takes like 20 minutes. I really, really support not shopping Amazon as much as possible. And when I recently found out that Goodreads was owned by Amazon, I was a little upset to be completely honest. I didn't know. And so no money goes into that because of Goodreads and I don't use Goodreads for like buying books so I don't feel too bad but I just am a little disappointed about that. So for me I really try my best to buy as local and as small as possible and Libro FM helps me do that. So I definitely think that I will link it down below in the description box and I think you guys should go check it out. Um, the first month I believe is 99 cents um, or that could be just a special that the local bookstores have. So again check your local bookstore and ask them if they are an affiliate. Um, I am on month three of this subscription. And I plan to keep it, especially now that my lip box has become a quarterly subscription box rather than a monthly subscription box. Um, so that kind of changes my my funds in a way as well. So all in all, I definitely think that my money is better spent at Libro FM and is better better used in that situation. Um, I do like audiobooks and I'm getting more into them, especially now that I have an audio account that I like and I feel comfortable with. Um, I really, really recommend it and I think it's a great quality. Um, this customer service has been nothing but nice to me and I'm very, very pleased with their service in general um, and I am really happy with the selection. So far, I haven't found that I can't find a book that I want. I will keep you guys in the loop and let you know if I find that there's a book that I want that I can't get my hands on. Um, but until that point, um, I am pretty happy with the subscription and with the service that they offer. So those are my thoughts on this. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or quandaries, go ahead and comment down below in the comments section. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.